another hero gladiator match. I'm Team Cap, obviously. Never ever will I ever go against Chris Evans. Never in my life. What's going on guys? This is Mr. Dark Phoenix here with my holy trinity to bring you guys my Civil War movie re movie review. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, please hit subscribe. I review Game of Thrones, Gotham, Lucifer, Supergirl, The Flash, Aidens of S.H.I.E.L.D., Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, Teen Wolf, The Netflix Family, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, The Punisher, all that good stuff's going to be on this channel and my weekly Wednesday show where I give you guys wacky theories and previews and opinions on various stuff in the nerdy comic book community. Now. Um, let's make this a little bit shorter than my Batman v Superman review. That didn't have to go into much controversy as this one did, but I'm going to go into some non-spoiler country first, and then I'm going to go into full spoilers. So this is going to be the, my non-spoilery recap. It's a great word. It's an excellent word. I liked it for what it was. This is going to be very confusing, so I'm going to try and piece my thoughts together as much as I can. Uh, newcomers, Black Panther, Spider-Man, amazing. Made the movie. Loved it. I loved that Ant-Man came back. I loved that the team was all together minus Thor and the Hulk. Because let's be honest, this would have had to be a four-hour movie if you're gonna contemplate if you're gonna compensate for not only Thor and Hulk's time, but their mass power. So that's fine. Long story short, the they take the event from the past movies as the meaning of you guys need to be kept in check. That is what you need to do, sign this form, and do everything. Tony Stark already reveals himself as Iron Man, so it makes sense as to why he's pro himself, because technically he's the face of pro-registration. Black Widow aired her dirty laundry at the end of Winter Soldier and told the government to kiss her ass. So, it kind of makes sense as to why she's on the team. Uh, Vision's on the team because he has an Infinity Stone, he has no idea what it does until Thanos crushes his head, crushes his head and does all of that. Rhodey's with him, that's fine. And we get introduced to the Team Cap, which obviously is Cap, Falcon, Wanda, Hawkeye, Ant-Man, all that good stuff. The conflict really didn't hit me as well as other stuff, as other things would have in this movie. I said it from Jump, me and my friend said it, I said it from the Jump Street. This movie is them fighting over Bucky. Tony, Tony Stark thought he was Cap's main chick. Then Waifu came home. And so he's like, how could you? He was my friend. Like, so was I. Really? Did you ever take your friend's advice on not doing things? Your friend begged you not to make Ultron. Which did it anyway. Doomed a little floating country in the sky. To God knows what. The ramifications of their actions up until this point are called into question. You should not have that much power, and you should be kept in check. A lot of points are made. Cap's point is if we're under their control, they can send us where they want. If, 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 if something important is going down and they don't want us to go, we can't go. Because if we go, then we're bad people. I liked the storytelling. I liked everything that led up to this. And everything else like that. Now is the point where I delve into spoilers. So if you haven't seen it yet, come back when you have. And if you have seen it, let's jump right on in to Civil War. The spoilers of this movie. Like I said, the conflict did not feel all there. Don't get me wrong. The fights, excellent. Subpar. Ama not, not subpar. Top notch. Amazing. Amazing action. Amazing comedy. When the movie feels too dark, that's what Ant-Man and Spider-Man are there for. Spider-Man gets introduced into the Marvel Cinematic Universe finally after all of these of all these times. Tom Holland does great. I didn't hate the kid when he was casted because of uh, the whole thing with Andrew Garfield, how much I loved him as the amazing Spider-Man. Don't get me wrong, I still love Andrew Garfield. Always will. Always will. Tom Holland's a, a move into the future, and he's like an adorable little kid. Look at that. Look at that adorable little face. And he's just starting out as a hero. And it makes sense as to why he's in it. Black Panther. He, his father was killed during uh, a bombing threat. And that's what initiates him to go after Bucky. That conflict makes more sense. You think he killed your dad, so you're going to go after him. It's kind of like a Black Manta Aquaman thing. Like, I think you killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> and 
everything else didn't like I said the conflict was the was one of the things that one of the problems I had with it now when you get into the fights it's like you're not making it make sense as to why you're going at it the whole scene where it's like the whole dramatic thing with war machine like oh my god is he gonna die you find out the vision does it the vision was aiming for Falcon Falcon dodged out the way and boom he hits vision and Tony had the nerve to get mad at that then as they're fighting it's like you can't do it because you're gonna save Bucky fine then you both get arrested then Baron Zemo does some shit to Bucky, he goes rogue, and then you have this big fight in the parking lot. Best scene ever. I kind of want to see it in the IMAX so I can see what, you know, how it looks. Full, full potential. After that, we get into the big fight there. Everybody's fighting everybody else, and it's awesome, it's amazing. Spider-Man's great. Ant-Man goes giant man, and he's all doing kick-ass things, and I freaking love that. And Spider-Man's like, you know that old movie, The Empire Strikes Back? And they're like, how old is this kid? It's fine, just leave it alone. We can do the thing when we spin around his legs. And he was like, maybe the kid's got a point. I'm like, this is all things that I just imagine modern day Spider-Man talking about. God, it took us so much time to get to this point. And so now... Um, Tony realizes he was wrong because Bar- oh, it was a Zemo. I'm calling him Baron Zemo. Baron Zemo's in the movie. He brainwashes Bucky because he finds the old Hydra notes. I swear to God, you let Hydra die. Right now, Marvel. And Tony realizes he was wrong, so he goes to where Cap and Bucky are going to help them, to stop them. Fine. That's your conflict. Now, the conflict is, it's finally revealed that Bucky was the one that killed Tony's parents. There were people gasping in the theater, like, oh my god, how could this happen? And I was like, oh, I already knew that, so, oops. And then that's how the final conflict starts where they're in the big scene where it's like, you know, boom, boom, Cap's going, go, the Bucky and him are going ham, and all this stuff, and the final fight takes place between Cap and Iron Man, where he, like, do something against the armor and he beats his ass a little bit and then that's what ends it then he goes and carries him off like I said the the conflict was more like oh my god we have to save Bucky oh my god we have to save Cap from saving Bucky oh my god we have to do this the con really the whole and plus Wanda in the beginning of the movie they go up against Crossbone so I thought they were going to use more as like a mercenary to go up against him but that's fine his face looked horrible he had a suicide bomb on him Wanda uses her powers and lifts him up, but he blows up into a building. That's strike one. Strike two is pretty much them revealing everything else that they've done. And like I said, love the movie for what it was. I just really would have wished they would have waited to use the name Civil War for something for a more grander, possibly two-part event. You know, where it's like, you've got the big two teams, and you've got the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., then you've got the Netflix family, and then you've got anybody else we've introduced up until this point going at a real war. This is a civil dispute. I'm not saying I didn't have a blast. I didn't love it. I'm just saying it could have waited, and the conflict could have been a little bit more... I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but I really hope you guys understand that I love the movie. I would give it seven and a half, eight out of ten. Only thing like I said... I really wish it would have waited. So let's, so let's go past my recap. The action scenes were really amazing. Everybody acted their parts very well. I have to give a big clap to everybody. Everybody really brought it. And I'm really proud of everybody for that. My only hits, my uh, my only misses were that I wish they would have waited. Um, the conflict didn't really feel like a conflict where you call it a civil war. Now they're separated until they're needed again, which will be... Infinity War? Because I think Thor, Ragnarok, and Spider-Man are coming up, and Black Panther's coming up. So the only other time they would need to team up is probably Infinity War Part 1. Because that's when they're going to realize they're going to have to be separate. But post credit scene was Spider-Man. And how he's got the whole thing going. He was like, who hit you? Some kid named Steve from Brooklyn. It's like, oh, and then there was this other guy. And he was really big, and I got him anyway. And I was like... Tom Holland, you magnificent little bastard. <laughs> I just love everything that you're doing right now as Spider-Man. But, what did you guys think? I don't want to go on and repeat myself. Everything that I've said in this video is how I feel about the movie. Loved it. 
all that stuff. Comment down below what you thought. Comment down below what you guys think. And comment down below how, how hype you are about Spider-Man being a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Finally! Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Comment, rate, subscribe, share with your awesome nerdy friends. And always remember, that through good times and bad times, remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. I'll catch you guys next time for another great video.